Welcome to Mambo number five, dancing lessons on your motorcycle. Uh, no, not really, of course, therefore I would need to know how to dance, which I unfortunately don't. So, we better name it round number five, and we're gonna talk about cash. Yes, I'm coming for your cash. No, actually not me, it's more the government coming for your cash. And what green, come on go. And what do I mean by that? Well, pretty simple. There are plans on going at least for the European Union. I'm not sure about the US or any other part in the world that they want to ban cash over time. Of course what they say, yeah, cash can be stolen and crime getting paid, obviously every illegal stuff getting paid by cash and tax evasion is done by cash and so all the bad things. Ah yeah, and for hygienic reasons as well, of course, cash is so dirty, which is actually kind of true. actually start with the topic I need to refuel so I'll be back after break this break is presented to you by this petrol station actually I will cut that out if I don't get my fuel for free I didn't get my fuel for free, unfortunately. Not famous enough yet. <laughs> but anyway, I will keep it in the part of the presented by. And I paid in cash. Yeah, that's still possible over here. So, back to the topic. They try to ban cash. And I have to admit, yeah, paying by card or by mobile or whatever cashless payments you have is kind of convenient. All right, that's true. But it removes basically quite a lot of your freedom or of your liberty or how you would call it for the simple reason that you ever had the problem that your car didn't work. That sucks then, right? I mean, nowadays you still have the option. All right, if my car doesn't work, I use cash. But what if there is no cash anymore and your car doesn't work? You cannot go shopping. Or imagine even worse, you're out with a nice girl or a guy and you're out for lunch or no for dinner normally it's dinner right so you're out for dinner having a nice dinner nice date everything going fine and then it comes up to payment and your car doesn't work it doesn't even need to be your fault that you don't have money on the card or anything just it doesn't work for technical reasons or whatever it happens that happens so that brings you a pretty bad light on your date and most likely if it's the first date it will be the last one with that person as well but okay the government might not take your personal dating risk into account when it comes to such a decision and thanks for waiting my friend hey but 
did it ever happen to you that you helped out a friend with 10 or 20 bucks or so? Most probably you did, or else you don't have friends. I don't know, but it happened to me quite often already. That some friend forgot his cash or whatever and asked me like, could you help me out? If I was pretty sure I got it back from, from him, all right, no problem. So, if there is no cash anymore, that won't work. One of the reasons given is reducing the crime rate, of course. Obviously, cash can be stolen and used below the radar, so no one can track it. And yeah, therefore, you could use it for a crime. Okay, and it is used for some crime. But let's be realistic, nowadays there's also untrackable non-cash like some electronic cash or electronic money which is not trackable neither and taking a look at crime statistics actually the number of crimes committed uh, The online world or how you would like to call it those numbers basically skyrocketing and even are bigger nowadays than crimes committed still using normal cash like bank robberies or stuff like that since it's way more likely to get caught if you physically have to go to a bank and rob it, for example, rather than if you're a good hacker or something like that, and you manage to steal it online, then it's way harder to get tracked down. So that reason basically is anything but valid. What other reason we have? Yeah, tax evasion. Tax evasion is yeah something pretty bad but and is done by cash as well that's true that's true but again it's just the small fishes which still do it with cash what do you really think like big tax evaders like the big companies which i'm not going to name now since most probably they get gonna sue me but you really think they're going to, let's say, Swiss banks carrying like a couple of millions or billions in cash. I don't really think so. There is actually an even specified kind of financial service sector now which helps you with hiding your money and therefore you don't need cash. So. Yeah, for small fishes that will work, so the average guy or girl who tries to reduce their amount of tax to be paid, okay, those they will get, but that's like nothing compa compared to the big players, so not really an argument neither there. Or, well, basically it is an argument, but an argument in favor of big companies and against the average people, which uh, is a common pattern, unfortunately, nowadays, but shouldn't be. So, what would the total cash ban mean for you personally? I mean, except the fact of your lower dating chances. Well, not sure if you hear it already, but certain banks already talking about, or not just talking, even having it in action for business account, negative interest. So basically, rather than gaining interest for having your money in the bank, they charge you interest for keeping it safe or whatever. So, 
far they don't have it as far as I know they don't have it for private banking yet but what would you do if they would introduce it well obviously you would cash out your money but guess what there won't be any cash anymore so how are you gonna cash out and what does the bank prevent from I think at the moment it's like 0.25 so one quarter of a percent negative interest what does the bank prevent from extending it to I don't know 5% or 10% or basically any percentage and you couldn't do anything against it anymore I mean okay yes you can change to another bank but what if those bank has the same amount or at least an amount pretty close to the second thing you will be trackable I mean completely trackable everything you buy everything you sell your income anything basically and if you think that's not so bad I mean you don't have anything to hide you don't do any illegal purchases or anything okay but you ever read about how a certain let's say online seller or oh, well in that case we can name it Amazon or is that's already proven uh, how their price policy works well if you're not aware of it they track you they check for example I'm, I'm not sure about that examples but as far as I remember if you view a certain product from any iPhone iPad or anything I mean not viewing the product of iPhone or iPad if you view any product from your iPhone or iPad then it will show you a higher price than if you watch it for example from your PC and guess what might happen if you have fully trackable uh, uh, income and everything well obviously if you earn a lot then the prices will be higher for you even worse if they see you're I don't know addicted to ordering or I don't know certain things then even then the prices might increase for you so there is one more issue which might have even a bigger impact and it's basically imagine there would be a government which isn't pro free speech let's say and you have a different opinion to that government well what can they do then it's pretty easy they just shut down your card or your account or whatever you pay with and you're done of course it's not like you can get any cash from anywhere okay you might you might have still some friends which support you but since everything is electronic then it's pretty easy to monitor those friends and if they see like well they spend now more as usual on food or on basic stuff they might as well want to cut them off or suspend them at least for a while to tell them like mm, maybe you shouldn't support this guy okay that sounds quite far-fetched but actually and unfortunately it isn't that far-fetched and 
not even with a government which is like a dictatorship or something where you might say, okay, this bad dictator does stuff like that. First, there's one example, which is WikiLeaks. Since they published obviously stuff which the US government didn't like to be published, well, the US government put some, let's say, slight pressure on Visa and MasterCard. And out of a sudden, obviously not in relation with anything, they decided, well, we're not going to process any further donations to WikiLeaks. And obviously with WikiLeaks it's not a organization where you can go and go to their office and bring over some cash or something. So it had a pretty big impact to them, to their business. So all in all, it's pretty easy to get targeted and tracked with all electronic money only. So I don't think it's a good idea. If you think the same or if you disagree as well, just leave me a comment, tell me about it. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did so, leave a thumbs up. And if you're still not a subscriber, then how about subscribing now? See you in the next video.